get the real information, find references for the service providers that we have available. Uh, I'd now like to invite Ann Chandler, director of the Tejeda Justice Center, uh, to say a few words about uh, the legal process. Thank you, Mayor. Um, my name is Ann Chandler, and I'm here on behalf of the Houston Immigration Legal Services Collaborative to really do two things. Number one, to really thank the leadership of Mayor Denise Parker and the city of Houston in this collaborative partnership to better educate and inform the community about the current status and implementation of the two executive um, programs, DAPA for Deferred Action for Parent uh, um, for, I'm sorry, for parents um, and parents of Americans and legal permanent residents, and the expansion of DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, and to the leadership of really launching this fantastic website that will not only steer the community to find trusted legal service providers, but also information on how to avoid scams and frauds. Um, currently, the legal community here is only serving roughly 20% of eligible immigrants, and we're really striving to do more. Um, and the city of Houston and this website will help us seek that. We want to make sure that none of the most vulnerable immigrants fall into the hands of notarios and unscrupulous <coughs> providers. Um, of course, second, I'm here to talk about the federal judicial opinion on Monday and what that means for us as a community. It means two things. Number one, the law that was put into effect in 2012 for DACA eligible immigrants is still in effect. Individuals who were eligible for that law can continue to apply and if they have already applied can continue to reapply. For individuals who are eligible to President Obama and the Department of Homeland Security's two programs that were announced in November, that, as the mayor mentioned, is on temporary hold until that decision and those programs are visited by a judicial court in New Orleans. So right now, immigrants cannot submit applications under those two new programs. This is a temporary setback, but it does not mean that we should rest. Immigrants should continue to collect documentation, attend information forums that are available and listed on the website, and to find a trusted free legal service provider to help them submit forms once it is time and individuals are able to submit forms after the judicial process has worked itself through. Um, it is, we will have an opportunity later to answer questions about the impact of this judicial order or details of DAPA or DACA, but I would like to introduce um, Ajerecina Vasquez, who is with the Texas Organizing Project and Mary Moreno. 